All right, hello guys. How's everybody doing today? Can you hear? Can you hear us? Yeah. Meh. Everybody's good? Okay, so you guys are probably wondering why we're here today. Awesome. We're up there. Oh yeah. Uh if if you guys can, can you please turn on your um your camera? If possible. Hey Matthew. <laughs> okay. Oh. Alright, well, that's fine. Um, so today, uh, we'll be learning a little about our home, you know, Bangladesh, from this book, our Bangladesh, okay? So the author of this book is actually uh, this man right here, Dr. Ferdos Kandegre. Um, you know, he wrote this book because you've been in, uh, you, you guys go to school, right? Yeah. Uh, you guys take history classes? No? Nobody takes history classes? All right. Um, how many countries have you learned about? A lot of different countries. America? No? Well, America know, at least? I know quite a bit. Okay. So that's something. How many times have you learned about Bangladesh in school? None. Right? So that's the purpose of this book. So we could teach kids. So, um, you know, I want to start off with who here has been to Bangladesh? Me. I have been here quite a bit. Okay. So uh, do you guys was... like it there? I really like it there. That's awesome to hear. So the next question is, if you really like it there, are you proud to be Bengali? Yeah, yes. yes. That's awesome to hear. Because in a famous song, in a famous Bengali song, they said, no land can surpass my homeland. So this shows, you know, how proud our people are to be what we are. It's what makes us us. We're not... Well, we are American, or, but our roots are in Bangladesh, okay? So I'm going to share my screen to show you guys through my slides. You guys can see? Yes. Okay, perfect. And you can hear me, okay. So, okay. Well, uh, here to talk for a second is uh, Dr. Oh. Okay. Before we get into the book. Hello everyone. How are you? Kamana Chatumra. Hello, Ashi. Awesome. I see all angels here. Yes. Awesome. So today um, this program we are launching on uh, from Sheikh Russell Foundation USA. Sheikh Russell was the father was the son of the father of the nation youngest son of bangladesh he was murdered but we'll go into that detail later on um this organization or us you can find us in youtube also in facebook as our bb generation so um our purpose was to connect as aki was saying connect our children or connect us with our root, our heritage, our origin, which is, which is what? Say it, Bangladesh. You want to say it, Bangladesh, right? Can you hear me? They can hear you. Good. Unmute kora ta kotha boli. So, unmute kora. I'm on unmute. Na shobai ke mic on. Oh yeah. Uh, if you guys could turn off your mics as well. Can you like, all... Uh, just to engage. Yeah. Abdullah, can you uh, turn everybody's mic um, on? I want to hear them. Okay. So, uh, um, is it... Uh, can we get an introduction from all of you, uh, starting from Akib? Okay, so I'll go first to introduce myself uh, because I don't think any, you guys know me. Uh, I'm Akib Kandekar. I am 
20 years old. I'm turning 21 this year. I'm in my third year of college. Uh, I'm going to graduate next year. I'm an old man, not as old as this guy. (laughs) (laughs) Um, And I've always wondered my whole life, you know, why don't we learn about Bangladesh? Kind of hard to understand when we aren't taught. So I took this up as an opportunity for me to learn. I might be teaching you guys today, but I'm also learning. So I'm just mm. like you. I'm just telling you everything. Good. Um, mm. And whoever wants to introduce themselves next, Fardin. Um. Fardin. Sanjana. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm saying. Okay. You want to say a few words about yourself? I'm. I'm Mohammed Fardin. Good. <laughs> and I'm 11 years old and in sixth grade. Good, good. Sanjana? I'm Samara and I'm six years old. I'm in first grade. Awesome. How about Nakib? I'm Nakib Kanakar, uh, 17 years old. I'm a high school senior and Akib's brother. Awesome. Ananna? My name is Ananna. I'm nine years old and I'm in fourth grade. Good. Um, Ryan Salikin? My name is Farhan Awar. I am 13 years old and I, I'm Good, good. Fardin, are you here, Baba? Yeah, he's here. Okay, Faisal? Uh, my name is Mohammed Faisal. I'm 16 and I'm a junior in high school. Okay, good, good. We all welcome you. So our purpose was to learn about our root. So we have uh, we have written a book which is named as Our Bangladesh. Most of you got it probably. If you didn't get it, we will um, uh, get this to you shortly. Um, and we will learn Bangladesh easiest way as simple as possible this month is february it's a very special month for the in the history of bangladesh which is like our language bengali bangla taina amra rice ki ki boli jano banglai what's the bengali name for rice he said but <laughs> but exactly so this this language, Bangla, was about to be taken away from us. So in, in 1952, we had to fight against that. And we won in that fight. That's how we are able to continue to speak Bengali. That's why we became mm-hmm. no. Yes, yes, it's interesting. Mm-hmm. So this month we will learn more about the, that history. And coming month is March. We will learn more about our liberation and the father of the nation next month. So for participation in this can program. Can they see you or you can get up? We okay. both can have to sit. So come every here. Every four participants uh, class, you will get <laughs> a card. You can buy anything. Do you have an idea? Gift card. That's nice. Uh, right. right. Is that a good idea? Yes. Sanjana? Yes. 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 Get one class, you get $5. So today I'm participating, I get $5 also gift card. So after I one month, we <laughs> mail this to you. Okay. Right. Well, Whoever good. takes the class, the teacher, like today is Akib, he's going to get a $20 gift card. What are you going to do, Aki, with that? I'm going to donate it to Bangladesh. Come oh, on, my God. That's a good good one. Good, good, good. So, he will talk after me. Today, you will be asking your parents. Next week, I will ask you that. Which part of Bangladesh your parents and your roots are from? Like, my root is from Kumilla. So I'm going to ask you, Sanjana, which part of Bangladesh you're from, you're going to tell me next week. Same Ananna, same Arjo, Martha, all I'm going to ask you. And 
bring a printed uh, we, we you have the picture and show me that this is part of chitagong this is kubila that i am from this is where i am from that way we learn more about our root like it's nice to know that where our parents are sanjana from sanjana sanjana do you have something to say yes yeah, sanjana i'm from mirasoy oh, wow she knows, she knows. She this knows. part of chitagong that Does i also else grew know? up Anyone else knows where they're from? Yes, Ryan Salikin. My name. Uh -huh. That's not her name. It's my brother's account. I see. Um, I'm from Rangpur, Mirasoy. I see. That's one of the beautiful places. Next time we bring this map and we show that this is Rangpur, something like that. Okay. Next time we do that. Whoever wants to um, where they're from, they could go now. Yes. Also, ask your parents what happened in 1971 in Bangladesh. That's the major question we're going to ask. Okay, your parents um, will ask that 1971 what happened. And so from now, Akib will be talking, and I'll be a listener. Akib, please proceed. Okay. So I saw people raising their hands. You know, if if you guys know right now, you can tell me. Um, I'm from Brahmun Baria. Oh wow! Okay. Awesome. That's next door to my my place. Welcome. Next, I see I see some people raising their hand. All right. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go back to uh, the shared screen that I was coming from. Uh, if it will let me. Okay, you guys can see the screen, correct? Yeah. Okay, so this is actually a couple pages out of the book that we are focusing on. So, as you can see, you know, Bangladesh, you've been there. It's a beautiful country. It's filled with greenery. Uh, lots of farmers, you know, they take care of their crops and all that. Bangladesh has a lot to offer. It's honestly a beautiful country. So, one of my questions I have, if anybody knows... Does anybody know the founder of Bangladesh, what his name is? If you guys know, you don't have to raise your hand. You can just tell me. No. The, the founder of Bangladesh is Bangabandhu. Okay. Ah, who okay. said that? Who said uh, it? That? Uh, that was me. That was me. Oh my his God. formal name is Sheikh Mujibir Rahman. Yeah, oh yes. Oh, my God. Uh, now, we, we pointed out that his formal name is Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. Uh... Bangabundu, that's his nickname. We call him that because we feel the sense of pride with him, the sense of closeness, friendship. Do you guys know what Bangabundu means? No. Friend of Bengal. Yeah, okay. Who, who's, who's that? that? Who's that? Um, me, Zabaida. Okay. Ah, uh, you're going to be the next teacher. Yeah, I think you, you have to next be the week, yes. next teacher. So yeah, his nickname means friend of Bengal because... All the people of Bangladesh, all the people that were there since the beginning and us now, find ourselves having this closeness with him, even though we may not know him. You know, he's an important part of our lives. So we go on to the next slide. Um, Bangladesh got its independence in 1971. It's a major, major thing. I, I try to remember that if I were you. But... Just like America has the constitution, Bangladesh also had a constitution that basically said, okay, we are our own country. We have our independence. So the official name of Bangladesh is the People's Republic of Bangladesh. Okay. So out of here, I know you guys can probably see the answer and probably see it but uh, you see all the different regions of bangladesh can someone tell me what the capital is Dhaka. Dhaka. Okay. okay you would be right <laughs> um we have a huge population um you might think we have a huge population here in new york it's if it's crazy there it has the eighth largest population in the world in terms of country. Um, how many of you guys know how to speak Bengali? 
Me. Me. All right. So, I know. So a lot of people here. Um, our language, as my father said, was is is still Bengali, and that's the reason we are who we are because of our language. Mm -hmm. And uh, the religions there largely consist of Muslims, but there's obviously uh, variation. There's Hindus, Buddhists, uh, although be it small percentages of Christian and other religions available. Um, like we said, we're going to give out gift cards, right? You guys like money? <laughs> yes. Yeah? Very. Uh, yes. Yep. 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 So just like on our bills, we have George Washington, Benjamin Franklin, Abraham Lincoln. Those are all important people. The most important person in Bangladesh's history is Bangu Bandu. So we have him on all our bills, which are Dhaka, and I would totally tell you how the increments work, but I have no idea myself. What's that number, Val? First one is 1,000. It's 1,000 Dhaka. We don't have a $1,000 bill, but um, that's our currency, Dhaka. Okay, so Bangladesh, like I said earlier, is a rich country, you know? You see the... You see the greenery, you see the water. Every country has to support itself through exports and imports. That's how the country makes its money. So we, due to all the greenery, we have crops such as paddy, tea, cha, all our herbs and spices, sugar cane, uh, mustard, which surprised me, um, potatoes, vegetables, you know? That's uh, one of the biggest industries there. But have you ever seen on your clothes? I remember in second grade, we learned this thing. And they asked us where our clothes are made from. And I turned my shirt around, like, completely backwards. And I saw the tag. It says, made in Bangladesh. Do, are you guys aware that a lot of our clothes are made in Bangladesh? Yes. 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 Bangladesh is, I, I saw most of my clothes made in China. Yeah, most of them are made in China. A lot made in Bangladesh. That's because China is a big manufacturer. Yeah, China is a big manufacturer. But um, Bangladesh is also a leader in the garment industry. Um, but the other big exports, like I said, are cha. You know, we drink cha a lot. Tea. Uh, ceramics that go into, like, pots and stuff. Cement, leather, etc fish so i have a question i've been asking this question for so long to my parents i bet your parents have said this what fish do your parents love can you tell me the name Elish moss. every yeah. type of fish Elish moss. Elish moss. who likes fish i here? don't know who likes some fish here does anybody like fish or has had Elish moss? Oh, wow. I, I, I have. have i like it i have i have I don't, I don't like, like fish. Don't yeah. like a lot of Bengalis are here. I don't like fish. <laughs> I've never had it. But uh, I always know, you know, our parents go crazy. They're like, oh, my God, did you see the Ilish Moss prices? I need to buy a bunch of them. <laughs> but uh, that's also one of our biggest industries within the country and as exports. Okay, so on to the next slide. I'm going to skip this one. A lot of history that goes back into... 805 AD, you know, it's not important. Um, okay, so we touched upon Bongo Bandu, you know, our friend, friend of Bengal. Um, he's done a lot for us. We may just see him as the George Washington of Bangladesh because he is, he really is. And he's struggled a lot. He's gotten thrown in jail, he's been persecuted, all for. The people. And that goes into the closeness we have with him. He gave up a lot of his own rights and freedoms for us to, quite frankly, be here right now as Bengalis. Right? Um, there wouldn't be a Bangladesh without him. So just a little bit about him. 
it's really fitting that he was the founder because he uh, he went into the Department of Law in Taka University. You know, uh, me being a college student, law is not easy. So obviously, from a young age, this man had the drive in academics or in the huge success of becoming the leader of a country, you know? Um, uh, he went, he created the Awami League, but that's all politics. I, I know me as a young kid, I didn't enjoy politics. I'm not going to go into that, but um, that's all the slides. Okay for today. Now, I have some questions for you guys. All right, are you guys ready to answer some questions? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I'm ready. You guys are ready? You guys are ready to discuss? Oh, man, he really one of the questions. <laughs> the first question was going to be, what's the color of the flag? Red and green. Red and green. Yeah, it's kind red, of red and green. green and red. Yeah. All right. There's more of the green than red. Now, I know I asked this before. And there's some. Oh, there. I'm just pulling it back. It's a little bit of Bangladesh. Hmm? What's the capital of Bangladesh? Jaka. Jaka. Okay. Um, Anybody have the answer? What was the question? What are some main exports of Bangladesh? It's main it's mainly clothing. And oh, fish. Uh, okay. Person? And pots. Sa? 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 Mm. Ch yeah. Yeah. Um, probably one of the most important things about Bangladesh. I know you guys know this. Who is the father of the nation? Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. Bangabandhu, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. Say, say Bangabandhu. Bangabandhu. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, actually, a fun fact. His birthday is March 17th, right? He was born in 1920. So last year was the 100th, if you're still around, it'd be his 100th birthday. Is he still alive? No. No, he died. He was killed. Um, he was uh, murdered in um, August 15, 1975, okay. along with his 18 other family members. So, 1975, that's not long after when... The, the only ones who survived were the two daughters, right? Yes. Oh, Do you wow. know the names of them who survived? I know one of them is the governor. Her... Sheikh uh, Hasina, Prime Minister. Um, Sheikh Hasina, yeah. Yeah, the other one is a younger one, uh, Sheikh Rehana. Mm -hmm. Say it with me. Yeah, I, I know that Sheikh Rehana. I see. Uh, I know that Sheikh Hasina yeah. became the governor. Yeah, uh, prime, prime minister. minister. Yeah, good, good. How about the fish? What is the fish that we talked about? Oh, the famous Ilish mas. Ilish mas. Some of you guys like it. I guess I need to try it. Hey, um, Okay, so I just found out he died in 1975, right? So that's not far after. Hello. That's not far after Liberation. when the country was liberated and declared its independence. Mm -hmm. This might be a hard one. I don't know if you guys are paying all that much attention. You might have. Uh, what year was it that we did get our independence? 1971. 1971. 1971. 1971. 1971. Uh, I guess everybody's paying attention. Everybody, yeah, everybody I guess, knows. I guess everybody's paying attention. Okay. Okay, well, here's one. Here's one. What did Sheikh Mujibur Rahman study? What did Bongo Bongo study? Law. Law. He studied law. Huh? Oh, okay. Anybody uh, want to be a lawyer? Was he a doctor? Huh? 
Anybody want to be a lawyer now? Oh, you want to be the lawyer? Yeah. Maybe you can lead. Um, uh, yeah. 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 Hello, it's simple. <laughs> we'll give you the material. <laughs> Nobody wants uh, to Wait, what? Next week, who wants to be the teacher? Me, I guess. Julie? Who? Yeah, sure. Awesome. We'll, we'll email you the material. Today's discussion, uh, do you have any questions, Mama? Any Papa? questions? No. Do you think it's a good idea to discuss such way? Oh, they have a question. Yes, a question. yes, um, I I also read the actually um the Bangladesh was also in the time where the British um took control over Indi and the Indians also they were they took over because they wanted tea they wanted the goods the spices. Yeah, that's true. Right. That's true. We were part of it until 1947. Under British rule? Yeah. Yeah, yeah because they wanted tea and they, they wanted the tea and they also wanted all the spices that we had. Yes. And our wealth they wanted to take. They wanted to rule us. Yes. Not giving us our share. Yeah. Did you know that? So um, 1947, we got divided. And so 1947 up to 1971, what happened? Any question? The we, we were under Pakistan con Pakistani control. Yeah. They and they wanted to kill our culture. They basically were doing the same thing as the British. No, the, yeah. no. the British. They didn't want us to speak our language. They didn't want us to be. Yeah, they wanted, they wanted, to, they wanted to kill our culture. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So. We didn't have anything until 1971. We didn't have even dream for ourselves. For if we were not, if we didn't have our land, right? Yeah. We, I mean, we won't we be able to come here. We again. basically did not have a home for ourselves for what yes. about 30 years? More than that. And imagine that you just, you know, you have no identity besides you being forced to take up another role. That that's not nice, right? That's not fun. And that's the principles that made us Bangladesh. We, we needed a home. We needed to feel like we belong somewhere. Yeah. Just uh, I honestly understand why some, like, oh, some, most people didn't really, like, speak up against it. Like, pe some people did, but a lot didn't. Because, like, they just, like, had their own freedom for, like, a few days or months. And then they got taken over again yeah yeah you know when you're just a specific group of people going up against the, the whole of pakistan it's hard to want to do something and Bongo the, the fear takes over yeah the fear takes over but bongo bandu inspired those people and what do we call those people that fought alongside of them the freedom fighters freedom fighters, freedom fighters. Uh, freedom yeah. fighters. have you seen any freedom fighter Mukti Bahini. Mukti Bahini. Mukti Bahini. Say, say with me, Mukti Bahini. Mukti Bahini. Good. Mukti Juddha. Mukti Juddha. So, have you seen any of them around? Yeah. No. Yeah. My dad. Most of them, most of them, if they're around, they're pretty old. Yes. Yeah, yes. You, you know our Bathen, uh, Bathen boy, Dr. Abdul Bathen? Jubi's mom? Son, uh, dad, you, you saw him, Dr. Abdul Bhatten. No. Yeah, the yeah. Shrekas of Anderson's. Yeah, he's a Mukti Bahini. Uh -huh. he, he was only 17. Yeah, he was young, but he had a lot of courage to go fight for a country that didn't exist at the time. Yeah, at the age of 17, he got a bullet in his head. Oh, mm. wow! Yeah, yeah, she got a I, wound. I didn't know that. One day we'll we'll listen to his story. Yeah, we'll listen to whatever he has to say. He's definitely pretty been... interesting. Wait, wait, what are the times to do the classes? Uh usually around this time, Sundays. Yeah, yeah, Sunday seven. Seven thirty. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Not too long. Fifteen to thirty minutes. So, um, you know, I'm going to conclude today's class. I hope you guys enjoyed.
um, learn some stuff. A lot of you already knew some of this stuff. So um, next week we'll go into. I'm um, uh, yes. Uh, uh, thank you, Akib. Uh, you did a good job. You did the homework, and you learned a lot. And I see that you like it a lot. Yes. And um, look again. Um, I have my two personal homeworks for all of you. One thing is you'll bring. Uh, you'll locate your uh, um, our Bangladesh map, our Bangladesh map, which part of Bangladesh you particularly your family is from, and you'll show it in the um, uh, meeting that this is the place they are from, and. Learn what is their what is your grandparents' name and what they used to do. Just a little bit. That way, you'll feel that w where our roots from and who were they. If you have pictures to show, wonderful it will be. Um, your grandparents' pictures. Also, we will be mailing you some small materials to all of you. This is the Language Movement Month, which is February. We we'll learn. Uh, more about language movement, why this movement was needed. Next speaker will be Jubi Jubaida Barton, and it will be simple like this. Only thing is, I'm a little jealous that you'll be getting twenty dollars gift cards, and rest <laughs> of us will be getting five dollar gift card. Um, Babu Bhai, uh, you want to say a few words for the crowd? I see you joined. Oh, thank you, Akib. Uh, very My good pleasure. performance. Yeah. Yeah, very good performance. Uh, next class for the Zubi, and everybody will come chron chronologically. So the Zubi after another one. So it's fine. Uh, we are very much happy, and uh, I see the very good future. Do we? Do we all? Do we all have the book? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Next who class. Doesn't have book. Who doesn't have the book? I don't have. Absolutely. I don't, I don't have don't. the book. I don't have book. This is my first day. I see. Okay. So, uh, who's my brother? Who, who's that? Fardin. Fardin. Okay. Yes, Fardin. Fardin. Okay. Fardin and Faisal. I also don't have the book. Where does she live? Also, where do you live? Um, I'm living Queens. Okay. So uh, your I book will be at home. Give the we'll book send your home. Tomorrow. Okay. Tasin. Tasin. Okay. We'll get Tassin. the book to you to uh, uh, show you. Yeah, we'll get the book. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, inshallah, okay. next class we have more guys over here. The two day, yeah. two, three are missing. Yeah. They're just, exactly just now they're on the road. I think so, it was fun. It was fun. Yeah, it'll be fun. Thank you all. Thank you all. You know, Thank you for we become a family from today. Yes, Martha, Orjo? <laughs> are there, for next lesson, are there going to be any, any pages that are not in the book? Uh, no, 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 no. no. It will everything be everything is based around the book. Okay. If you guys want, I can give you the pages or whoever the teacher is next time. Email. I, instead of just sharing the screen, we could say the pages. I'll have it up and you guys can follow along yeah. with the book. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you all. Everybody good have night. a good week. Good I'll night. We can sit together. Joy Bangla. Say it. Joy Bangla. Joy Bangla. Joy Bangla. Joy Bangla. Joy Bangla. Joy Bangla. Joy Bongo Bongo. Joy Bongo Bongo. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Okay. Good night. Good night.